Hello everybody, welcome back to Carrie Does Stuff, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yay, the factory building game. I am here today with Duana right now, and I believe she is in my game, busily working on making frames. So yes, we're going to have frames coming up soon. Awesome. But uh, last couple of days I've had a um, couple of hours while I've been off camera to uh, sort of finish up, uh, do a bit more to my uh, power station. So I want to show you that first. So let's hop on in and check it out, shall we? Okay, good. Let's do this. Where is my sound? There we go. All right. We don't need that. So here we are. Uh, let's wave to everybody. No, how did you do wave? Hello, wavy, wavy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right. So <clears throat> we've had a little bit of. <clears throat> I've had a few hours here and there knocking around where. Um, I've been able to just, uh, I've only got any concrete, yeah, um, where I've been able to just, uh, fool around on my own for a bit, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and check out the, um, and go and check out the factory, the, uh, power station which I created. Okay. As you can already see, there's been a bit of a difference. I've made a new ramp. All right, let's go up and check up here and see what we've got. Here we go. Here is the finished product. It's kind of like a herringbone design. Uh, there are actually 80 power stations um, on here. It's 40 on each side. Um, yeah, and I kind of like the way that was kind of like the way it's worked out. I really do like the way it's kind of worked out. It's uh, a really nice design. It's different. It's not square blocks. It's really cool. And down the end there, we have a um, atrium. Uh, we'll go and check that out later on in a minute. But yeah, that's that's the design of the factories. Uh, I've only got uh, two rows turned on at the moment. This row, uh, four rows, sorry. This row, that row, that one, and that one. That's because we haven't got enough, um, the pipes aren't strong enough to contain loads to fit all the factories at the moment. So once we get Mark II pipes, we'll be able to turn on, uh, well, Mark II pipes, bigger conveyor belts and bigger miners, we'll be able to turn on the rest. But it's generating a hell of a lot of power at the moment. As you can see, the lights are flickering down there. All the coal is going in, all the water's going up. So it's working out really nice. I really like it really good factory design right let's go and have a look a bit closer down we're going to zerp in there zerp my little turbo tube the hyper tube and that's going to spit me out at the end zoink there we go spat me out at the end all right so here we are we got these big old glass walls lead up to this this atrium like so we still got beans stuck in there I had a bean stuck in there the last time 
Uh, and we got a little lights up there, signs up there to tell you what was going on. Now I'm thinking I'm going to block this area in. I want to block this in. Uh, <clears throat> so I think I'll do that now with basic concrete walls. Have we got... Have we, is there... Zerp. Just so they fill up the atrium. I wonder, does that does that go outside? No, that goes into there. Good. That should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. That works. We'll, we'll put one on. Oh, it's not quite going to get in there, is it? So what we'll do there is we will try and build like what? There we go. Nice little column. Let's get up here. Oh, I don't think I can. Yoink! There we go. There we go. Right, let's shut these off. That looks great. All right, let's get back up here. Yoink. Right. Uh, what I might do is I might do... Do I want to do that as well up there? Yeah, let's do this up here as well. Let's go up to there. Okay. Let's zerp that off. So we'll zerp in the concrete walls here. Zerp more. that off nice 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 Right, so let's go down and see what that looks like. Oh, that looks...
looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty good. Now we've got the bean stuck up there. I don't know how he's going to get out, but I'm sure at some point he'll find his way. Never mind. That's the atrium. Uh, and if we go down here, we've got all the pumps. And I've got these little walkways which f follow each line of each pipe. So they connect to all the pumps which connect to this particular line. So if I need to go down and turn on more pumps or turn off more pumps for a particular line, I just run down here. And that's pretty much the same on both sides. See, all of these pumps feed into the line underneath here. Perfect, perfect. There we go. They all feed into these six lines. Move up there. I really like this design. It's got a little bit of like naturalness to it as well in, in the front with the rocks. And they come up here. Follow these. Now we did have, as you know, we did have the coal coming in here, but I rerouted it to under the floor. So now, it, if I do this, comes in under the floor, like so, like that. And again. Line up these uh, walkways will take me all the way down so I don't have to jump over the pipes and I can easily get down here and switch these on or off and what have you and each one we can get down there we can go down here see all the coal and pipes are underneath and it all runs up there you can see down there see down the pumps see the pumps let's just check here and we are good for power, 2,000, about 2,200, 2,500 megawatts capacity. Uh, that's where we are, and we are going to be consuming 900, so that's not even half the power this plant can produce, it's just a little under half. So we should be fine for a long time. And there, that is the lake power. Here we go, Lake Power. So here you can see where the coal comes in. Um, you can get up here. Oops. Give it a zerp. All comes along here. And it goes under the floor there and all the way down here down there finds its way in that's nice and tidy it's nice and neat and I love it I think it's great <coughs> just 
just got to get rid of that bean, and I don't know how to do it. But still. <laughs> it's all good. It's way better than just a bunch of row after row after row of square. The squares. A bit interesting. Alright, let's go and see what Duana's up to. Let's go see. Oh, she's got some assemblers on the roof up there. Plates are stopped. We should be kicking one out every so often. There we go. That's another reinforced plate in the sink. <laughs> Zerp. All right, what we got over here? Oh, duana has got a friend as well. He's got a bean stuck up on the uh, on the conveyor belt. Oh, he's checking out what she's up to. Like, where is she? Oh, she's up here. Ooh, ooh what's going on? Oh, this is interesting. Hey, Duana. <laughs> All right. So, what we got along here? We got one, two, three, four. We got two rows. She says hello there. Two rows of four. That's eight assemblers. Oh, she managed to fit them all on this roof. Oh, nice. Because she was wondering the other day that she wouldn't be able to fit them all on this roof, but she did. And he's going to make frames. Nice. Nice. So she's got another screw factory here. Just screws for days. <coughs> A screw factory here and a screw factory down there making nothing but screws two stories of screws and she's got uh, oh she just needed to she needed to put a link over there all ah, right oh so we got a little tunnel in here look got a little tunnel in here that's nice uh let's where's the doorway for this one where's the doorway for this one Ah, around here. And this one's making plates. <clears throat> Brilliant. And then they all go into... Here. And they all make... Uh, reinforced plates. So chunk, chunk, chunk. Chunk it out those reinforced plates. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Every so often you'll see machines spit something out. because we're full of plates and we're sending them up to the sink at the moment but that will change when she's finished this to make the frames wow this is looking awesome why didn't well well that's good she's got a little walkway awesome brilliant job Duana well done Next up, uh, 
Next thing we need is steel. Well, that's a fun one. So we got a little steel factory over th over there somewhere. Yeah, just over there. So let's go check that out. Let's go and see what we can make here. Now this is not where we're going to make the steel. The steel is going to be where the old power station was. For a number of reasons. <clears throat> so what we've got here is we've got... Um, There's something up there. No. We got encased frames. Yeah, we got encased frames and steel. And we got these. These aren't being produced at the moment. Um. Right, so the way this works is the coal comes in <coughs> and the iron comes in. 45 iron to 45 coal and you get 45 steel ingots. Are you in a private area or public area? No, this is my game. This is all this is private. This is a private game. Um The only people that can join me on my game are, my, are those that are on my friends list. And hello Gaia, good to see you. So it's 45 to 45. That's good, let's write that down. I'm not going to chuck that envelope away when they need something else to write on. Oh, I'll give you something else to write on. Oh, I've got to get myself a pad. Well, let's open this letter. Let's open this letter, then I can use the envelope. What's this say? Ah, oh, I say this says I have no money. All right, fair enough. I knew that. Uh, right. So uh, we have forty-five coal, forty-five iron equals forty-five steel ingots. Okay, good. So that's the ratio that we're going to be using. So this is only a temporary solution uh, in order to get some bits and pieces. But it has worked out really well for us. But what we're going to need is we're going to need to amp it up. We're going to need to amp it up. So... And there's Creamy. Hi, Creamy. Good to see you. Hi, hi, hi. Right, so what I probably want to do is I want to make a probably make a road along here, along this side. So I can get the uh, truck down here. And in order to do that, I'll probably finagle the concrete under the ground. Oop. Let's get up here. Right, so this is where the old power station was. Again, it managed to get us what we needed, which was enough power to be able to make certain things. Doink. Right. Alright. I've got to take a run up it. Ah. Mm. There we go. Right, so what type of coal is this? Two forty a minute. So 
so this must be a let's just do a check on the on the on the website where satisfactory okay so interactive map right so we got a pure coal and we got four normal iron nodes around here okay so let's see where they are They're in that direction. I, I think Duana has tapped two of them. So we've only got two to play with. Yeah, she says two's enough. Yeah. Um. Oh God, we've got one of these things here that we have to kill. Tora, Tora. Yeah, he did. And we skinned him at the same time. Good. All right, so here is this should be No, this is our lot. Is this our limestone? Ah, great. This is our limestone that we're going to need. That's good. So the other iron node is where? Exactly. A hundred meters over here. Ah, here we are. Normal iron. Normal iron. All right. So, if we need 40, 45 coal, we need to work 45 iron. These are normal. That's going to be good. So, if we can jack up. Let's have a look here. So, this coal with a Mark III miner will make 480 per minute. So, the coal. 480. And the iron. Iron should make... Mark three minor, one hundred percent, two hundred and forty. Two forty times two. Come here. Do you want? Where are you? What is it? What you got? One here, one here. I thought uh, I thought you were talking about one four eight. No, nope. no, I done my research. Do I? I knew what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, they, uh, it was when I was over there. I was over at it. I'd, I'd ran past them. I ran past them. And so I had to come back. Well, it's all good. So two of these will make 480. Now that's just at 100%. What happens if we jack all the mines up to 200%? So if we jack them up to 200%, times 200, <coughs> that'll give me 960. We'll redo the concrete areas later too. Um, 
yeah, alright, whatever. And so 240. Jack that up to a total is 480. Equals 960. Alright, so we are getting 960 per minute. That's yeah, this is uh and maybe fit in that limestone. Yeah, we'll use this limestone for the for the um in for the casings. But there's three things we're gonna be making up here. Yeah, the uh concrete beam casings. You know, what are the iron beams that you have to cover in concrete? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I use this concrete for. Yeah. But so that's why we're going to make three things up there. But first of all, we need to work on the smelters. Um, so smelters, we're going to have to work out how much that is going to be. So let me have a look here and try and get my calculator out again. Um, my calculator. Uh, so... Um, 45, uh, no, no, sorry, 960 divided by 45 equals 21.3 smelters. That's a lot of smelters. That's a lot of smelters. Uh, but I think, I think we're going to make 22. We're gonna make 22. So that's two banks of 11. That'll be fine. And we can always undercook the last two. All right. So we need to work on a smelter blueprint if we're gonna put down that many smelters. Hey, Bean, get out of here. I'll grab some of these. Yoink. Uh, right. Let's go and. Uh, You'd be, you'd be better to get the steel alt. All right, what is the steel alt? What's the alternative recipe for steel? Let me have a look at the steel alternative recipe then. Game resources, where's the recipes? Structures, tools, items. Uh... Steel ingots. Let's have a look here. All right, here's the alternative recipes. Hmm. Petroleum coke. It would match the coal instead of... Oh, hang on, which one is she telling me to get? Um, it would match the coal with the iron ingots instead of iron ore. It'd match the coal with iron ingots. Oh, solid steel ingots. Is that the one where you make two iron ingots, two coal, kick out three ingots? You would need more fabricators, but output would be better. Okay. Well, we'll we'll make we'll make steel for that then, shall we? All right. Scrub this then. Scrub this idea. Thanks for that idea, Duana. Yes, but we need to find the alternative recipe first. We do, and I don't know where it is. Find hard drives. All right. First of all, let's work out how many we're going to need. Oh, no, that's fine. We got the numbers there. We can work that out. 
Right, let's have a look at the interactive map. That's what I do after. That's what I'll do after I'm done here. Oh, you're going to go and find hard drives, are you? Okay, good. Because you can uh, find them on this map. Artifacts, collectibles, pod drops. Holy bejesus, there's 97 of them. Right. Well, we'll let Duana do that. She says that's what she's going to do. And I'll carry on. Uh, where the fuck is my mouse? Why can't I? What's happened to my game? Game? Why can't I access my game? Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Uh, right, uh, nothing's happening. My game is locked into the chat screen. I can't even chat. That's annoying. Uh, alt tab. All right. So the lesson here is don't tab out of satisfactory while you are in the chat window because your game won't allow you to come back in. Um, I'm trying to work out how I can get back into the game without having to close it because obviously Duana would then have to rejoin my game. And it's not letting me do anything. Nope, I can't type. I can't do nothing. Right, so I'm going to have to close the game down. That's all there is to it. Sorry, Duana, but I've got to close the game down. Yep. I can't save it either. God. When did we last have a save? Just wait to. Right, you get. You also get the message that the game is saving, don't you? Because it lags a little bit. It just is a little bit stuttery. Alright, we'll just wait. We'll just wait a little bit <laughs> and see if we get the auto save message. I mean, if I don't get it, Duana should get it. So she'll be able to tell me if it's auto saved. Well, this is a good start. Lucky there's no bad guys around here. And the game is still running. It hasn't crashed. It's just stuck. I mean, and I can't do anything. It's not letting me. My mouse keeps wandering off the screen. So, dooby dooby dooby. Do we just sit here and chat? I'm looking for that little save icon in the top left to tell me that it's saving. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything I can do. 
Uh, restart it, I guess. Didn't do anything meaningful in the last five. Okay. All right. Okay. Restarting. Let's see what happens. See where it comes in. I think I was just running around um, working things out. Okay. Let's try again. Yoink. Where's it going to put me? It's been a lovely day. I was in the... Ah, it must have just saved as I was sat on here. That's handy. All right. Back again. All right. And Joanna can join me when she's done. All right, so... First things first, let's get rid of these pumps. The hell? Why can't I move? Right. Duana has joined the game. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't lose anything, Duana. Right, let's um, get rid of this lot because this is not going to be needed anymore. Served its purpose. Thank you very much, Amu. You've done God's work up here. And you made this Fucking fantastic. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what we do, we just go Okay, good. No. Right, so that's all that done. Now, what I want to do is I want to... Uh, I want to create a roadway here for our trucks. And I want them on this side. Oh, have I... Oh, I'm full. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to build a roadway. All right. Okay, what happened to my Zerp? Okay, so, uh, hmm, well, that's gonna be a... oh, I should be able to get down there with the trucks. That's all right. Yeah, I should be able to squeeze down there. That's good. It's good enough. So she's going to go looking for hard drives. That saves me doing that. I get lost so easy. I'll never find my way back. It'd be stupid. Uh, right, so I want to chuck in... Do I have any grass? No. But I do want to get... Let's see if I can get rid of some of this stuff. Um, I don't like chucking stuff out. If I can help it. So, um those I've got no berries alien as alien foods there I've got all of these I know what we'll do we go put those in the relevant truck station I don't like 
chucking things out like that, not that amount of stuff. Okay, so if we're going to be building, let's clear this, clear designer. All right, so um, let's put down the, so we need smelters first. That's what we need to make the iron ingots. Now let's work out. So we're going to make iron and it's going to be... 30 a minute. So if we're going to be making 960, what is the um, keystroke for the calculator in the game? I know there's a calculator in the game. I can't remember what the keystroke is for it. Alright. We'll just use my calculator. It's fine. Um, right, so we're making 960 divided by. What did I say it was? 30, okay. Divided by 30 equals, we're going to need 32 of these. 32. Right, so let's work out how we're going to do this. So, oh, duana has gone. Bye, Duana. <laughs> right, so how big are these things? These are, oh, we can fit one by one. So we can do it like a four, and how how long are they so let's snap that to that grid there like that check okay so so if we're gonna be produce oh fuck I just need to oh you crashed oh okay we're producing 30 so it's gonna be producing 960 that's fine um, so what we'll do is we'll make them all come into one line. I think that would probably be best. Now, didn't didn't we create a smelter blueprint? Constructors, constructors for these. What the f... Okay. That's obviously Duana's smelter blueprint. Um. Oh, she made two. Alright. Alright. Can you delete ones? Because one is updated. Uh, yeah, you can delete them. Um, let's clear that design out. Load group print. Uh, which one? Uh, which one's the new one? Two segments, two seg. Which one's the new one? Duana Smelty 2. Duana Smelty 2 segment. Uh, I think the second one, that's just a guess. Uh, okay. I don't... I, but you can delete them. You can click on that. Um, oh, wait. No, no. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can you de just delete? Create a new one and then you know the delete 
and then you know to delete the old ones. Yeah. Well, I don't want to delete your ones because yours have different ones. Um, I don't know how to delete um, blueprints. We just go delete. So we can do that. What's this say? Name is already in use. Set directory, set color. Set color. Okay. Right, so that's not working. I don't know how to delete the blueprints. Right, we'll have to figure that out later. Add a blueprint here. I, I just... Add to-do list, save the necessary ingredients to the to-do list. Ah! Remove blueprint, there we go, that's it. Right, so what we do is just run through that again. Uh, oh, right, let's cancel that. Cancel that, cancel that. So we go into the blueprint configuration. We load we s I went into set directory edit and then it highlights these and then it's got a little cog on there and you can remove the blueprint so that's how we do it it's a bit of a long-winded way of doing it but that's fine all right so I'm gonna make my own um, smeltery one because I don't want it quite as big as the one because we're gonna need how many did I say? 32 of them. That's going to be a huge um, foundry. Not to mention we've also got to put in the smelters as well. Which is going to be an absolute humongous thing. So, uh, so I kind of want to do... Let's have a look at this. So if I put the... Just mark them on the lines. Put them on the lines. So. So if that's in and that's out. We can have the coal coming down the middle line. So let's. Uh, so not the coal. The. Um iron coming down the middle line like that and then out of it I like the idea of what Duana was doing the other day so we could have them a merger on there like that I thought I saved this one this one I saved it never mind oh no this is the ooh, um, ooh, ooh, ah, ting tang walla walla bing bang um Uh, oh, it's the constructors that I saved like this, wasn't it? Like these are set. Okay, that's good. That's good. So then we get another one of these. Like 
like that. Now, is that right? No, it's got a little gap. And so that there. Like so. Like that. Now I'm wondering, uh, because I want the catwalks on there as well. I like these catwalks. So what I think I'll do is we'll build a foundation. Uh, that's too big. I'll build a foundation. Um, that's what this is for. So we build a foundation, and I want it uh, uh, sort of there. Then, if we put the catwalk, oh, we need a bigger foundation. And then we can put the catwalk. That's good, that's a start. There, that goes down there, nice. Now, I'm gonna save this one as just a, a bank of two smelters. So, um, uh, one, by, uh, one by two smelters. Ooh. Turn the caps lock off. Smelters version one. This is just a bank of one by two smelters with uh, V3 lifts and belts. Okay, we set icon to the smelters. Is that a smelter? Smelter. And we'll have it as blue. Okay, so V1s, like we save that blueprint, like so, and then we'll clear the designer, and then we'll head up here, Whee! and see how many we can get on here. Right, so I want to do the blueprints. Set that. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a, a bank of ten. That's nice. That's nice. So now what I've got to do is link up these belts. Like this. Like that. Now that belt doesn't go in there yet. But that's fine. Now link up these belts. These belts, these belts, like that, and then make a walkway, oh wait, 
right, that's not right, is it? No, that's not right at all. Oh, I really off that up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Really boffed it up. Ah, right, so that belt, that needs to come there. <sighs> Alright. Eeps. Eeps. I really boffed it up. Those are overlapping and everything. I didn't want that to happen. Um, so I wonder... Is that the right height? That is the right height. Okay, so now I can grab that there. Is that right? Yep, that looks right. And we can zoop. And zoop. Because they were overlapping. That was the problem I had. Oh, that sticks out. Let's get rid of that. Now, what happens with this one? And all right, so that should now sit neatly. Good. That should neatly. Maybe if I get rid of that too, then we won't get there any confusion. Okay, so we got the inputs and then the outputs above. Now I don't think I can wire these up like this, can I? No. Well, that's all right. Let's go and check that out. Make sure that looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks good to me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's ten smelters. Right, let's go and save this blueprint. Uh, right, so smelters. Let's say two by five smelters version one. And that is a bank of two by five smelters with V3 uh, belts and lifts. Okay. And we'll stick that on there. And save the blueprint. Game? Game said no. <laughs> Uh, game said no. <laughs> oh, we're having some difficulties today. Well, I hope you hadn't done anything too um, complicated to honor, because <laughs> it just kicked me out. Oh, right, okay. Well, that was annoying.
Ah, oh, right. Sorry, it hadn't saved that, but okay. Had it done all of these? Yeah, done all this, but it hadn't done my. All right, so we'll do this again. It's just about deleting an annoying roadblock by belts. Okay. Well, hopefully you haven't deleted anything that I need. There you go. She's back. All right, and now we zerp. We've got this. and zoop. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, belts, belts can be easily moved. Right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. So now it fits together. Right, so now all the belts are connected. Yeah, they're all connected. That's... Because the last thing I want to happen is them not being connected. Okay, let's try and save this again then. Okay, so it was two by five smelters version one. So uh, a bank of two by five smelters with V3 belts and lifts. Okay, set an icon, select that, select that, and hit save blueprint. Why did it crash again? What? Why? Why is it crashing? Uh, what's it saying on here? So I'm following this one. Restart my system. What? My entire computer. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to stop the stream, and then we're going to come back into it, going to come straight back into it once the computer's reloaded. All right, we'll try that then. All right, and I'll see you in a bit.